everyone and welcome back. Today I have a request that was by Jenna the Simmer. Jenna asked me to do a house for a single mom, two teenage daughters, and a teenage son. So I've used the Wizard's Cottage lot and I love this lot. I have not used it in so long. I can't even tell you the last time I used this lot and I don't know why because it's gorgeous. We have autumn coming up in this part of the world very soon and I thought it would be perfect to use this lot and use a lot of deep rich colors including a lot of wood tones. So you can see I've built a patio back here. I've taken that older fencing that we have I believe from the backyard house that update and paired it with the new archway and it matches almost perfectly. And then back here I've just built on a little gazebo where it's on a large lot it won't let me give you a better angle. With those lots it kind of won't let you go back very far but you can see pretty much what's in there it's one of the round fireplaces a nice place to sit some candles and some flowers in there and i put the chalet wood walls on the inside and a stone floor so that is the backyard area i think it's beautiful especially with the leaves on the ground so up front here i've also used a lot of color as in the flowers Right here at the entryway, those look like mums, those fall flowers that we get, the bright reds and yellows and orange. So I thought those would be perfect there, that little flower box at the entryway. So you come straight into the living room. There is some contrast in the house, but again, I tried to use nice, deep, rich tones in the house. So I used the teal because I love the cushion on that couch, how it matches that and it kind of pops out. And you can see all the wood tones in this room with the doors, the TV, a little bit on the fireplace. There's the bookshelf over there. There's an exit right there out to the patio. And there is some contrast in that the black sort of pops out with the couch, chair, ottoman, and TV, and that table back there with the decor on it, and also the black archways through the house. So this is just the central hallway with the staircase. I've just put a painting in there. But then you come through here, again, more deep, rich tones. I love this dining room. So we have the red-ish color on the wall, the black table, and then the black chairs, and then that old Scandinavian table right there, the dining table, kind of looks like the legs on the side table. So I tried to balance out the colors, and then we have the orange there in the painting with the fruits, and also with the lamps on the table. So I think that's a nice balance of color. And then you come in here to the kitchen. This room's a little bit brighter because the cabinets are so white, but I thought the chalet cabinets and countertops would look really nice in here with that black flooring. I also love the fact that we have that dishwasher that matches up with those countertops. And then we just have the fridge over here on the other side. So there is a lot of contrast in this room because of the blacks and whites, but I also tried to integrate some of the wood tones in there as well, even if it's just from the tone on the wall with the gold. So let's go back through here into the master suite. This is where the single mom is. She has her bedroom back here. She has big doors out to the patio. I've given her the plum or mauve colored traditional looking bed. I thought the bedspread would look good with that armoire and the tops, the nightstands there definitely all sort of balance the color out in the room. Throughout the house, you'll see that brown tone carpet. I thought that would look good with the wood tones as well. She has a nice seating area there and a TV. And then you come in here to her ensuite bath. There's the bathtub there. And then on the other side, we have the vanity. And then we come through the door here and you come into the part where she has her shower and toilet. And you'll see two doors there. And one of them goes to a closet, which you'll see here in just a second, but I'm trying to give you a better view of that shower area. And then there's an archway here just to a small laundry area. And then there's her walk-in closet. So it's a rather nice master suite. If you wanted to use this floor plan, of course you could decorate it any way you wanted to, but I really like how the layout turned out on this home. And then up front here, for everyone else that's on this level, there is a half bath that I've used the spa items in as well. See all the different wood tones? I think that looks really pretty with that red color. If you don't have that red color, really you could use even green would look really pretty in there. Even the old green wallpaper would look nice in there. So that is the first floor there. There's an overview. And then we're going to come upstairs and you come right into a central hallway again, just a landing there. 
I didn't want to waste a lot of space with the hallway. So in here is one of the teenage girls' rooms. I love doing the closets like this. I know I've done it several times, but when I have an older girl to make a room for, I just think that's such a nice addition is to put that type of closet in there, the open closet. She has a big pink bed. She has her own computer desk here, a full-length mirror, and plenty of windows looking out into the nice scenery. But yeah, I really do like doing those closets that way. So you come out into the hallway and you come into the second teenage girl's room here. I wanted to make hers a little bit different. So I did the open closets with her too. I just put different items in there. And then she has the farmhouse bedroom suite set. She has her window there and her dresser. And then she has her computer desk over here. I really love their rooms. I'm not the best at decorating kids' rooms, but I think these turned out pretty well. And she has something kind of special here. I gave her a little porch that she can walk out onto. I tried to match the wood up as best I could because that's actual room flooring in the porch. And I got as close as I could to the exterior balcony color. But when you look at it from a distance, you can't really tell a difference. So over here is the teenage boy's room. He has a larger bed instead of a twin bed, a night table. He has his gaming TV over here, and he has the other color of armoire because it matches that bed really well. He has a little lamp there, and that blue color on the wall I picked because it brings out the cushion on his bed there, the pillow. So coming in here, now this could be a, a fifth bedroom. So that, that would make four bedrooms upstairs and one bedroom downstairs for the master. So you would have to imagine this couch here would maybe be for company and it lets out into a, like a sofa sleeper. But here is just an area maybe where the mom would do some work from home. There's a TV in there, so I thought it would make a great guest room. You could make it any type of room that you wanted to. And I also included a closet over here and just put the vacuum cleaner in there. So yes, that's like a guest room for this home. And it walks out onto a balcony that overlooks that beautiful backyard. I think that's so pretty. And again, I'm not the best at landscaping either, but I do like how this one turned out. So coming to the end of the hall, we have the family bathroom upstairs. Here's the vanity area. I've used the spa items again because I like the wood tones. There's one of the newer tubs. And in here's the shower and toilet. And I've also included a clothes hamper. So that is the second floor there. We'll look at the overview of that and then we're going to go to the grid and again make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video for the furniture placement and the decor so we have that dining area and then i built on the living room and the bathroom up front here the half bath then i put the stairway here then i built on the kitchen next the master bedroom and then the vanity and tub area shower and toilet laundry area and that left me just enough space for a walk-in closet then you come up to the landing here which was already built when i built the stairway downstairs then we have the bedrooms and their closets and there's the other girl's bedroom there and her closet and then we have that little porch on the front there then the guest room or office and a closet then we have the family bathroom and shower and toilet area very simple build. I absolutely love the layout and I loved doing this request so thank you so much Jenna. You're always commenting on my videos and you're always so encouraging and so are a lot of other people but you're always there and I was so glad to get to your request and I hope you like the house. I really hope you do. Everyone else if you enjoyed the tour please hit that like button. I sure do appreciate you watching. Everyone take care and again stay tuned to the end for the decor and furniture placement. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.